The Shreveport subdivision is on high alert after a shooting at a neighborhood park. Good evening and thanks for being with us. I'm Dan Jovic. NBC6's Maddie Weiris joins us now live from Anderson Island Park. And Maddie, after speaking with residents today, what did they tell you? Well, they're disturbed that this happened at a park in broad daylight. And take a look at this. This is a car that was caught in the crossfire. You can see multiple bullets here and a shattered window. And the consensus that I'm hearing is that this park needs some change that is long overdue. This is what the Anderson Island community heard around dinner time Wednesday. Shots fired at the Anderson Island Park where a man was hit in the arm. He's doing okay, but the neighborhood is outraged at the rise in crime. I don't think the uh, lack of police force has helped. Um, we lost our, our regular community liaison officer, so we kind of feel like we're out of the loop. Um, not that we don't have some filling in and helping, but uh, I think they're doing all they can. Shreveport police were able to identify the suspect's car with the help of the neighborhood watch. We did form the association and are trying to get the neighbors pulled together. Um, unity in the community is what we're calling it. Um, to come together, uh, find out who has cameras, who um, can do watches. Residents say the park has been a problem since its slow decline in upkeep over the years. We need help. We're not asking for much. Anderson Island pays taxes like everybody, have not had anything done in over 20 years. Members of the association are actively working to begin improvements. The park has been brought up on bonds on a couple occasions to try to get some upgrades over here for the community. And because they haven't passed, the, the money has not been there. But they say it's going to take the effort of the subdivision to make it a better place for everyone. I was very upset. I, I love this neighborhood. I, I want to stay in this neighborhood. I just want it to calm down. Now, this is District C of Shreveport, so it's under the jurisdiction of Councilman John Nicholson. And I'm told that he's been working with SPAR to try to get updates to this park. And if you have any information on the shooting itself, call Cattle Crime Stoppers or Shreveport Police as soon as possible. Reporting live in Shreveport, I'm Maddie Weiris, NBC6 News.